In this video I'm going to describe how to use the multi BMD controller to control the Smart Scope Duo 4K, the Smart View Duo and the Smart View 4K. Sitting in front of me I have a Smart View Duo which is a Blackmagic product that has a left and a right monitor and I have below that a Smart Scope Duo which is a 4K device. I also have available in one of my OB kits a Smart View 4K which can be seen at the top and a Smart Scope Duo 4K sitting at the bottom. And all of these are all available by separate IP addresses and have been detected on the multi BMD controller. Just to quickly explain what we are connected to at the moment, at the very top or the A port, we have the Smart Scope Duo, and the name I'm displaying here is the name that's been set in the video control panel. This Smart Scope Duo is the one sitting right next to me here and here. So that's the left and that's the right. The next item down we're going to discuss in another video, it's a video hub controller. And then we have the Smart Scope Duo, which is at the bottom of this screen on my other ATM system. And then the next item down is the a Smart View Duo, which is the unit up here, which is the left and the right monitors. And then the next item down is the Smart View 4K, which can be again being seen here at the top. And then we have another video hub again, and it will be in another video. And then we have a hyperdeck, which will be covered in another video. And then we have another video hub. And um, when we get to the video hubs, I'll explain how all this works. But for the moment, we just want to talk about a Smart Scope. And we'll go to the Smart Scope Duo, which is the unit sitting right next to me here. And that's at the bottom. So on the screen you can see there are adjustments for brightness and contrast and this is for the right monitor which is the, the monitor over here and subsequently you'll notice that there's a blank spot at the bottom which we'll show you in a moment. So let me just switch that over to picture and to do that there's two ways you can do it. You can see there's a bar at the top here which gives you the different settings available. Uh, waveform Luma, Picture, Vector 100, Vector 75, Parade RGB, Parade YUV, Histogram, Audio DBFS, and Audio DBVU. Now these are the, exactly the same settings that are available on the software control panel. Or we can select picture. Then there's Vector 100, Vector 75, there's Parade RGB, Parade YUV, Histogram, Audio DBVS, and Audio DBVU. Now, as I went through each one of those, you might notice the display showed variations in each particular setting. And again, I can um, I can also just step through forward one at a time by just clicking on the name and that'll step through each item. So let's first of all get up to um, picture and you'll notice when we select picture that we have a saturation slider. Now the saturation is not available for any mode other than picture because picture is the only one that would actually use a saturation. You'll also notice that to adjust the saturation you can just hold your pointer down and slide and you might also notice that when we get all the way to the bottom it's black and white now at any time you can restore it back to default by just clicking the value so just above the slider is the value you can also use plus to increment the values and minus to decrement the values. So if I want to put everything back to default, I can just touch the individual values. That's the contrast back to normal, and that's the brightness back to normal. And these values here are the same values that are displayed on the software control panel. So that's picture. If we go down to the next one, which is vector 100, you'll see there's no chroma adjustments, but you still have full control over the brightness and the contrast. The same with Vector 75 and Parade RGB and Parade YUV. 
so those particular settings including the histogram don't have a chroma control and then you'll notice when we go to audio then shows available audio channels that you can select and then again it's just a matter of clicking each one as we go and you also notice that if you click the actual word audio channel it will go back two at a time because these are always adjusted in pairs or if you click the number it'll increase two at a time so you've got two different ways of setting that value let's just switch that back to parade rgb and you'll notice at the top of the screen we also have a setting to set the left monitor which is this monitor over here and again if you change the border on it you'll see the borders change in color or you can put an ident on it the ident is designed mainly so that if you've got a wall full of monitors that you're controlling you can use that to quickly show you which particular monitor you have selected at the time especially if you've got two side by side so that's how you can use the ident the scale is the same as scale to sd which is a setting on the software control panel and just to show you usage with other devices let's just now select the smart view duo which is up the top and it has exactly the same as the smart scope except you don't have any choices of what modes to view in because it doesn't have the scope capability and subsequently it won't show you any audio down the bottom because it doesn't have audio control but it does have the main brightness contrast and saturation controls you look at the top screen there I'm on the left monitor you can see I can turn the border change it to the three different colors I can put an ident up there now the ident itself has actually got a built-in timeout on it which is part of the, the black magic protocol after 15 seconds it'll automatically turn off and it's gone and you'll also notice on certain smart devices like the smart view 4k any changes you make on the software control panel will also reflect the values down in here it's not the same with the smart scope and the smart duo because only one ethernet device can connect to those devices at any one time so we come out of here and go to a smart view 4k it's more or less the same as a smart view duo except it has slightly different options at the top here and with the smart view 4k you might notice that we have control of brightness contrast and saturation as we have previously had with other smart devices but in this particular case a smart view 4k front panel controls does not give you control for contrast or saturation but with the multi beamd controller you can actually access those we also have the ability to change input a to input b back to input a scale is the same as scale sd it's exactly the same as the software control panel scale to sd and we can also put an ident up and change the border colors from red to green although that looks yellow to me but that's green and blue and then off and tally is exactly the same as the software control panel tally so when you have multiple smart scope devices using the ident is quite useful so that's it for the multi bmd controller smart view 4k smart view duo and smart scope 4k more tutorials to follow